today we're back in our deck profile and we're back with uh, Beast Player Studios and today he's going to show us his uh, Red Eyes deck. Okay, I guess I'll start with the monsters. So, play three Red Eyes, obviously they are pretty much the foundation of the deck. They're the thing that lets you special stun and everything. They're the thing that lets you get your fucking your dragon. It's obvious, he's the Cory. If you don't have him, you don't have nothing. Run one, Flare. Flare's good, because you can resurrect him from the grave, and he can do fucking tons of battle damage if you play him right. Um, I've won games with this fucker's burn effect when he's a Gemini. Like, it's crazy. He's really good. Um, and plus, he can be used to go into, like, Slash or whatever. Um, I run two of these, or two um, Blackstone Legend, because you can special summon these guys and you can go to an XYZ, or you can um, pretty much just get more fodder on the field. You can even use these guys to get links or whatever if you really want to, and plus he can be chained off of... Mm, baby. Um, then... And we have, we run, I run two babies, because I have figured out that I don't get these much, and when I get them, they aren't very helpful. Um, and plus, if you're running a red-eyes deck, a lot of people already know what's probably face-down, because obviously these guys aren't face-down defense, this isn't face-down defense, you're not going to put gear feed in defense, you're going to put these guys in face-down defense, usually people guess. But you, he either searches out him, or I like to search out him sometimes. And then, I run three gear freed. Pretty much what you want to do is get these guys in the grave as soon as possible. You need to be whipping out your insights and you need to be using these to get them in the grave. If you don't have in the grave, then this guy's just gonna be sitting there attacking with nothing, no effects going off, no protection. Get these guys in the grave. All right, then I run three black metal. I really like him. He can get uh, red eyes up to blue eyes level, 3,000. Plus, if he's destroyed, um, you get uh, you get to search for red eyes, which is perfect to use on Gear Freed with this effect. If you use Gear Freed in combo with Black Metal, you instantly get a Kunai with Chain, you get a Red Eyes Fusion, you can get um, Red Eyes Insight, and you can just go crazy because of these two. These two work together very well, including him as well. Like this can be its own little trifecta. Um, then I run one Darkness, obviously, because he's um, Pretty much, you use him in tandem with Light Pulse. And you pretty much like daisy chain these two, their two effects together. I mainly use him um, to get XYZs because I really like when you just throw him in defense or attack, you get maybe give him some protection, um, but most likely you're going to be using him to get out other red eyes from the grave. You can even use him to get out slash um, and stuff like that. He's really useful, especially with slash now. Um, and then Maxi because links they're crazy oh yeah and light pulse pretty much he can be when you special summon him from the grave with him then he when he goes to the grave he just brings him back if he's in the grave too so it's just this big like cycle all right and that's all the monsters Then I run, for spells, I run three insight. Pretty much what you do with this, you get rid of gear freed, immediately get rid of gear freed, then pull out either uh, fusion, um, or kunai, or red eyes with chain. Or, yeah, red eyes fang with chain. Um, and I run three Red Eyes Fusion. 
this is your way of getting your slash, it is your way of getting your meteor, it is, this thing is like the core thing of the deck, if you don't got this, you will most likely die. It is everything for this deck, if you don't got this in your hand, first game, or first turn, or near first turn, you're not going to be having a good time. Um, I run three Return of the Dragon Lords. This has saved my ass in many occasions. He can protect your um, Slash, he can protect all your uh, r Red Eyes. He is just fantastic for this deck. When you, what Red Eyes like to do, they like to play with the graveyard, and when they're in the graveyard, you pop them out. You know, you, you can do sh so much with these fuckers. Um, I've pretty much won duels with uh, this thing alone. I've even had like three in hand once and beat Mr. Dino Duelist. <laughs> um, Soul Charge. Um, pretty much, if you want a link, if you want XYZ, if you want to do anything like that, get a huge chain off. Um, and Soul Charge. Especially Soul Charge I like to use with a certain combo, and I'll bring that up in when we get to the extra deck. Play one card of the Redstone. Um, personally, I don't really like the card, but a lot of people run it. Um, it kind of sometimes gets pretty cloggy hands, but sometimes when I have Red Eyes Fusion, I don't really want to get rid of a Red Eyes from my hand. Um, because I really like them in either my hand or my deck when I play with Red Eyes Fusion. I don't really want them in my graveyard right away. Um, I wish it was Red Eyes Monsters in general instead of Red Eyes Normal Monsters, and that would have made it way better. Um, I play two Allure Darkness. Um, as Todd says with that, what's it, Pot of, de top, pot of Desires? Yeah. You, you play with the lure, you, you die with the lure. <laughs> um, cause I've banished two Blackstone Legends with this thing. It sucks. It, it, this thing can either win you games or it can screw you over big time. But it's really good you get to draw two cards. You have to discard a red, uh, or you have to banish a red eyes, which isn't really good, but two cards you didn't have before. Um, I play two MST. Um, I might put in two double or two twin twister, but I like this for now. Um, I run a lightning vortex to get stuff in the grave, like gear freed or whatever. Um, and it just destroys my opponent's field. I don't really like running um, Dark Hole, but I've been considering it because of Slash's effect. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to the extra deck. Um, and this card, which is the card that I never see anybody use, is White Veil. This card is really good. I think it's really good. So pretty much, like let's say you equip it to Slash, right? You equip it to Slash. So that means Slash technically has the effect of Black Skull Dragon. And if he destroys a monster on your opponent's side of the field, they get um, they get heavy stormed. Just them. They get heavy stormed. No spell or trap cards for them now. No trap cards to stop your attacks. No nothing. Like this thing can make slash really really good. But if your opponent has MST, Twin Twister, etc., you take three thousand to the face. That's like the only downside. But honest to God. That's not that bad of a trade-off when it comes to red eyes, especially with how high attack you can get this guy. Like, White Veil is extremely good for Slash, specifically Slash. Cause, and plus, you, if you want, if you're really in like a bad, you know, situation, you, you might have to tribute this off. You know, that's the only bad part about it because you might have to tribute it, but you don't have to, I guess. Um, and that's it for the spells. Alright, then I run... I run three kunai. Good card! Really fucking good card. This thing can just take monsters when they can't do shit. Um, I have yet to use its actual effect yet. Its actual first effect. I think I've used it once so far, as far as playing this deck. But this thing, it, uh, mainly against Conductor. Um, because, uh, monsters with no protection, this is their worst nightmare, especially if they're really high, like the Lords. If they didn't have the field spell, this is the Lord's worst nightmare. You steal the Lord, 
then the Lord is yours, and it goes on to your red eyes or whatever. But let's say slash, it could be any red eyes, but any red eyes can go on here. So let's say they play this or this red eyes. Or no, it has to be effect monster, right? Or, yeah, it has to be effect monster. Um, I don't know. Gear Freed, why not? Just as an example. If they play Gear Freed, you flip this and he's equipped. Then he gets, he can attack two times, but let's say this Gear Freed is 4,000 attack and you don't want that. So you say, nope, put this in the grave and now he's your bitch. <laughs> um, you gain his attack and uh, plus all the equip monsters that are already on you. So if you, let's say, take Ravial, you get 4,000 plus whatever was equipped to him, which is crazy. Um, yeah, let's see if this clean. I run two Return of the Red Eyes, because I personally think this is a little bit of a weird card, but I kind of, you, it's like necessary. Plus, it's a juke card. It's a thing to put down so your opponent MSTs you, and if they MST you, or double, or Twin Twister, they're gonna get fucking surprised. Because if it's destroyed, you can automatically bring out a Red Eyes, or not Red Maxi, a Red Eyes from your, I think it's Graveyard, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. Graveyard. And it's just fucking, you get a free Red Eyes after them fucking up. And plus, you can only bring out a, a normal Red Eyes monster, which sucks. It really sucks. <laughs> um, it's pretty much called Haunted for Red Eyes. Um, two back to the front to bring them out. I like to use back to the front on... Um, where are you? On darkness because he comes out in defense activate effect if he gets destroyed who cares you're not losing much but you get another monster out I really like using it on him every other monster when it comes to him there's not really many I would suggest maybe using it on him because when he hits the field you can automatically put him as an equip um, hmm and that's well he's it's just a resurrection card pretty much but only in defense. And last but not least, our good old Solemn Morning, our good old man, Mr. Fuck You. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the traps. You, you all know what Solemn Morning does. It's, it's the special su your opponent special summons something, you cut yourself and then say no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then on to the good stuff. Okay, so I run two slash. Um, he there's a backup. Um, honest, honest. I wish um, it wasn't strictly. Um, I wish uh, pretty much. I wish in this deck format you could add in more red eye stuff, like maybe skull or whatever. But it'd be too cloggy. You can't add all of them in. But I really like him specifically because. If you want, you can run Dark Hole, destroy him, and you get, let's say, you get Gear Freed. Like, let's say you have, yeah, like these two. If he's equipped to him and he's destroyed, they come to the field. And if you have enough on him, because each Red Eyes that attacks, you get to add a warrior from the graveyard. So you can have up to three plus him. You could have like four, you could have five on this fucker. Five things equipped to him. And all monsters equipped to him, when he's destroyed, come to the field. You get a link four and a link one if you want. And if you want a normal summon, you can get like proxy and firewall, which is crazy. But you can do it if you want with this effect, if you really want to build that up as much as you want. Um, then I run Meteor. Pretty much you only use him with where with pulse because he's a level six dragon and mm, comet dragon kind of sucks the red eyes comet meteor whatever it's called it kind of sucks 
Um, I run two of these guys, or two flare metals. They're really good. I love these guys. Um, for some reason, whenever I think of them, I always think they can't be destroyed by battle if they have XYZ, XYZ materials and can't be destroyed by card effects. But no, it's just card effects. You can punch these guys if you want and they'll die. But you can burn your opponent out with these things. I love whenever um, I summon these guys and then everyone's like, fuck. And then like 1,500 life points left. It's like, you have three turns. You have three chances. Make him count, buddy. Um, yeah, he's pretty much if you want to stall, if you want to make your opponent cry and make them hurt more other than, you know, you, you hurt them by killing themselves. You make your opponent commit suicide by trying. <laughs> there you go. One Castell, because I don't want you to have good monsters in the field. So fuck you. <laughs> Big Eye, I want your monsters. Fuck you. <laughs> him. Him. He's really fucking good. He's really good. Um, specifically... Um... You get... You can use darkness. And soul charge. These two can make this guy... Okay, use these two. Summon... Uh, let's say you get two level sevens, right? And then you get him out, get him out, activate his effect. You get four tokens, and then you immediately can go into firewall. And then from there, you probably have one more. So if you wanted, you could even bring out a link spider, um, or go even further depending on what you want. Or if you have another normal summon, possibly if you use soul charge or something, you bring out proxy dragon. Um, so, then I run two Firewall, specifically for the Soul Charge and the, um, number 24, or number 42, um, because pretty much I like these guys, because when they point at uh, anything, they, you just bounce it back, they're dead, no more, go away, fuck you. Um, and also, uh, if a monster destroyed, um, that's pointing to this, you could special summon so you could bring out more red eyes for more fodder to go into more stuff. Um, Proxy, he's pretty much, if you have a firewall, you need to have a baby firewall, it's a little Proxy Dragon. Um, I haven't used him yet though, um, in my few days of playing with red eyes, I haven't had a chance to bring him out in real duels. Um, Keymaster Beetle. I only have him in here in case I want to, like, protect, slash, or something like that. Um, or, like, uh, darkness. That's a really good thing to protect. Um, that's why he's in here. Then I have Deco Talker. Obviously, he can link up from Link Spider. Like, you can go from, like, Link Spider to Proxy to Deco to Firewall if you really want. Um, and plus with him, actually, are there even any level four normal monsters? No, this is the only normal monster. Yeah, so he's literally just here to jump higher. Or if you want to, you know, get like flare metal or slash in the main zone, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's a good use now that I think about it. Yeah, you could do that. And for last but not least, the extra deck. Um, you can add an effect Valor due to what's been going on in the metagame right now. Uh, shutting down effects so they can't get farther in their link jumping or whatever. And if you add him in, I recommend adding in my baby boy. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the baby boy. You can't go wrong with the King Scar. You know, you, know you, you need this in every deck. He needs to be in every deck, no matter what. Um, even if it's just like a, a deck with no tuners, just have him in there. He's good luck. He, he'll, he'll keep you nice and warm with his skeleton body and his broken up hand. He's got a loving you. You know you just want to give him a big hug. <laughs> you good. Alright, so that's the Red Eyes deck. Alright, uh, do you have any shout outs uh, on, on people who, ever, who inspired you to make the deck or helped you? Oh, make the it? Team Samurai guy. <laughs> Pretty much, this is a total rip. Other than the white veil and the fucking solemn warning and maybe this. But yeah, 
Go watch the Team Samurai guy. Oh yeah, by the way, I probably should bring up that this is a proxy, and um, if you didn't notice, um, wait, oh yeah, I took it out. We got another proxy for the baby dragon, but that's not a problem anymore. This is a proxy. Cause he's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have money and we're college students. <laughs> Send us money. Hopefully, hopefully that reprint comes soon. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions about the deck, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, also leave a like and also subscribe and we should all see you on, in the next video. Have a nice day.